everybody. So, uh, I was tagged by Kaz Loves Bats to do the Darkling tag. The Darkling tag. I'm so dark. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here with this intense sunshine coming in at my face, but let's just pretend it's really intense moonlight. Question number one. What is your favorite candle scent? Well, if someone made a candle that would make my house smell like a graveyard, then that would be my favorite candle scent. I don't really buy scented candles so much, but I do have a room spray that's supposed to smell like moldy vault with incense and drippy potion bottles and stuff. Do you have a favorite book? <laughs> Can I just say anything written by P.G. Woodhouse or Douglas Adams? I don't know if I have a favorite book. Maybe just Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I don't think I've ever laughed so much. Are you a tea or a coffee person? I am a tea person, so much so that I have had to go to the doctor for palpitations for drinking too much tea. And I don't mean like herbal teas. I mean black tea. I love black tea with flavors in it. It's like so nice. I want milk in it. What is your favorite brand and color of lipstick? Well, Black is my favorite color of lipstick. Obs. I also like a nice bloody red, like you've been freshly chewing on someone's arm. As for brand, I... NYX. NYX. Whatever. NYX lipsticks are fucking lovely. What is your favorite perfume or cologne? My absolute favorite perfume in the whole world is Worm Moon 08 from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab, and it's so hard to find. If anyone happens to have some they don't want, feel free to send it my way. Also, patchouli oil. Boring, right? I love patchouli. If I can make myself smell like a graveyard or musky flowers with incense and kind of dark, spooky scents. Oh, cat! Hey! Do you have a celebrity crush? No, not really. There are times when Benicio del Toro looks pretty dishy. But... No? If you had to give up the color black, what color would you choose instead? Very dark gray? Ooh. What's that like super black color that I came up with recently? Does that count? Can I can I swap normal black for like extra black? Red, I guess. I like dark red. What does this even mean? If you could change your name to a stereotypical 90s 2000s gothy name, what would it be? 90s 2000s? Terrible internet handles. <laughs> I don't know, but that just makes me think of some of the cool names my mum was going to give me. One of which was Tempest, Wednesday, Storm, Tiger Lily, Flame. Such cool names, right? But uh, what are your top three tips for surviving hot weather while black clad? Well, I've had to do a lot of that lately. Going to Mariluna and trying to survive like intense heat, well over 30 degrees, no shade, while trying to like look really nice and fancy was one of my hardest like beauty fashion challenges ever. From that I learned, drink lots of water, obviously, use like tons of makeup setting spray, it fucking works, it makes a big difference. Put setting spray on when you've put foundation on and then put more on when you finish the rest of your makeup. Don't go outside, just become nocturnal. Sit inside somewhere cold all day and come out at night when it's safer. That sounds like a great way to survive summer. What song will always make you happy? Doesn't have to be a goth band. There are lots though. Everybody knows that I like Irish folk music. So that always cheers me up, but I've always loved Cold from Static X. That song always makes me very happy. Are you active in the arts? For example, play an instrument, paint, write, etc. Not at the moment, because I'm trying to like settle in a new country and I am living out of a bag. But generally, yes, I play a piano and drums. I really, really enjoy making music and I really miss it. I can't draw. I really wish I could. I'm jealous of anyone who can draw. I love writing, love writing books and stories and poetry to a degree. If you had a teacup or mug made in scribes just for you, what would you have it say? It would say like, don't. I don't know. I just think, don't. What is your number one non-gothy hobby? Non-gothy hobby. What does that even mean? Fuck, I don't know. I really don't know. If you could be a supernatural creature, what would it be and why? Well, I'm already a vampire. I don't know. Just a bit of vampire. <laughs> Love the idea of being a vampire. Just rocking around at night and sucking people's blood sounds good to me. What horror monster based superpower would you have? Oh, I would just love to be able to fly. Well, horror monster? 
turn my eyeballs inside out or something, I don't know. If I could have any kind of superpower, I would just like to be able to fly. I have flying dreams all the time, it's lovely. Do you feel confident or comfortable interacting with other gods or other gothy people online or in real life? Why or why not? Uh, honestly, I feel a lot more comfortable interacting with other people in black. <laughs> I think it's like that kind of familiarity, trust thing that your subconscious feels or whatever when you see people that you can tell are like you. I just feel so much more safe and comfortable talking to other gods, other alternative people. Perfectly confident going up to people I don't know at clubs or whatever and introducing myself and trying to make new friends and stuff. I love doing that, I really do. A bit awkward for me at the moment because like I'm in Germany and my German is pretty much limited to like Guten Morgen. Wie heißt du? Ich mag tea. I don't know, I genuinely feel a lot more comfortable interacting with other spooky people in real life and online. Which is more important for a look? Great hair or great makeup? Okay, I'm gonna go with great hair if I had to choose, but I mean like really, I think both. You should do both. If you're gonna do it, go hard or go home. <laughs> but if I had to choose, I'm gonna say great hair because I always find uh, an impressive hairdo quite striking. I just find that if one wears like amazing makeup but does nothing with their hair, I, I don't know. But if I had to choose, I'd say hair is more important for me personally. Is there something you wish there was more of in your subculture? I wish there was more affordable white foundation and black lipstick. <laughs> Oh, that's a bit superficial. Care to share an embarrassing story related to your darkliness? How about all my teenage years? That's an embarrassing story. How are you at DIY? Not as good as I wish I were. I've never been terribly good with my hands, so when I make jewellery for my shop, I will actually spend ages on each individual piece, like making it as good as I possibly can. Fucking shocking at sewing and making anything with fabric, and I'm envious of anyone who can. Jewellery making, painting stuff, I think I'm okay. Quickly describe your ideal wedding. Dark, big, scary organs. Either 18th or 19th century fashions. Skulls on everything. Candlelight. Something that everyone who's there will remember forever. Anyway, let's not talk about weddings right now. So this section is called The Confessional, aka True or False. I love watching cheesy romance films. False. I do not. Ugh. I always remember to wash off my makeup at night. Uh, no. Sometimes I do. If I've got the energy, I will. I'll wash my face off and put all my shit on my face, all my skincare stuff. Nine out of ten times I just fall into bed. I sleep with plushies. No, not really. In my home in Wellington I had like one or two toys on my bed, but currently the only like plush thing I'm sleeping with is this back cushion. I'm not sure if that really counts as a plushie, but it's so cute. I wear non-black pyjamas most nights. False. I have only black pajamas. Silky black pajamas and silky black night dresses. I still listen to a boy band that had disbanded years ago. Even in the heyday of boy bands like Backstreet Boys and NSYNC and all that noise, I didn't even listen to them then. I think Andrew Eldridge is overrated. False. Okay, so Andrew Eldritch may not have the greatest personality of all time, but you can't deny that he makes some amazing fucking music. He does. He does. He makes amazing music. He's very good at it. And his music's been incredibly influential on many bands, so he's definitely not overrated. Andrew Sisters of Mercy is not a goth band Eldritch. I don't like vampires. Oh my god, false. I've been obsessed with vampires since, like, toddlerhood. Seriously, ask my mum. I've loved vampires since forever. Like, I can't remember a time in my life when I haven't loved vampires. I don't like clubs. False. I love clubs. I like going out, dancing, and obviously gloomy dancing, lots of staring at the ground and looking like I don't want to be there. <laughs> I like going to social places and social things, listening to music, drinking and dancing and stuff like that. I'm dating a goth slash darkly inclined person. Ah, uh, yes I am. <laughs> at the moment, yeah. Probably one of the gothest goths I've ever met, actually. It's always nice to be around others with the same interests as yourself, if possible. I don't enjoy graveyards. False. I spend probably an unnatural amount of time in graveyards. My first week in Germany I went to three graveyards. They can be kind of spooky at night and it's kind of cool but they're also just a nice pleasant place. Blood makes me queasy. And I guess it depends on the context. Where is the blood? What's it doing? I'm cool with blood. I don't find with like wounds and things. It doesn't bother me at all. I don't like needles. I really don't like getting blood tests. Okay I don't mind piercing needles but I hate like little syringe needles they yeah. but apart from that all good with blood i'd soon faint than pet a spider we're talking like one of those big like fluffy spiders because no that's not gonna happen really i'm one of those people that if i see a 
spider, I no matter even if it's a really small one, I will like shriek and flail my limbs around and scream for someone to please come and get rid of it. I do like haunted houses. False. I love haunted houses. I want to live in a haunted house. In fact, I think I used to live in a haunted house, but my mum lives there now and she thinks it's not haunted, but she is so wrong because it's totally haunted. I won a radio contest many years ago where the prize was to get to stay in a haunted house overnight. It's really cool. I still browse Hot Topics clearance racks. Like I've been to Hot Topic once, ever now, since I visited America a few months ago. Aww. And I got to go to a Hot Topic for the first time in my life. I think it looks like they have the odd kind of cool thing there, so I guess maybe I would if I had the chance. I don't know. I've never read Dracula. False. I have read Dracula. Oh, I listened to it on audio, but does it really count? Like, I don't really read books, but I read very, 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 very slowly. So the only way I can really get through a book is if I listen to it on audio book. So I listened to Dracula on audio book. And the last question, <sighs> and how very, very dare you, I think Bella Lugosi's Dead is a long and boring song. It's not long enough. It's a wonderful song. I love that song. And you know, it's like even if you don't like it, you gotta kind of appreciate the song for its meaning and influence and <laughs> the count. So uh, that's it for the Darkling tag. <laughs> I feel like just about everybody's done this tag video already and I'm not really sure who I should tag for it. Alright, so if you have yet to do so, please subscribe to my lovely spooky channel. I put out at least two videos every week. So until next time, take care of yourselves and be nice to each other and stay spooky. Bye!